what ideas do you believe might be true that most or at least many people disagree with you with? Let's say in the space of machine learning. Well, it depends who you talk about, but um, I think, so certainly there is uh, a bunch of people who are nativist, right? Who think that a lot of the basic things about the world are kind of hardwired in our, in our minds. Um, things like, you know, the world is three-dimensional, for example, is that hardwired? Mm -hmm. Things like, uh, you know, object permanence, is it something that we learn, uh, you know, before the age of three months or so, or, or are we born with it? And there are, you know, very, you know, wide disagreements among the, you know, cognitive scientists uh, mm -hmm. uh, for this. I think those things are actually very simple to learn. Um, you know, is it the case that the oriented edge detectors in V1 are learned or are they hardwired? I think they are learned. They might be learned before birth because it's really easy to generate signals from the retina that actually will train edge detectors. So, um, and again, those are things that can be learned within minutes of uh, opening your eyes, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, since the 1990s, we have uh, algorithms that can learn oriented edge detectors completely unsupervised with the equivalent of a few minutes of real time. So, uh, so those things have to be learned. Um, and there's also those, you know, MIT experiments where you kind of plug the optical nerve on the auditory cortex of a baby ferret, right? And that auditory cortex becomes a visual cortex, essentially. So, you know, clearly um, there's learning uh, taking place there. Um, so, uh, you know, I think a lot of what people think are so basic that they need to be hardwired. I think a lot of those things are learned because they are easy to learn. Jesus. So you put a lot of value in the power of learning. Yeah. What kind of things do you suspect might not be learned? Is there something that could not be learned? So your intrinsic drives are not learned. They, they, they are the things that, you know, make humans uh, human or make, you know, cats different from dogs, right? It's the, the basic drives that are kind of hardwired in our basal ganglia. Um, I mean, there are people who are working on, on this kind of stuff. It's called intrinsic motivation in the context of reinforcement learning. Um, so these are objective functions where the reward doesn't come from the external world. It's computed by your own brain. Your own brain computes whether you're happy or not, right? It measures your degree of uh, comfort or incomfort. Uh, and, and because it's your brain computing this, presumably it knows also how to estimate gradients of this, right? So... Um, yes. Um, so it's easier to to learn when your objective is is intrinsic. Um, so that has to be hardwired. Uh, the critic that makes long term prediction of the outcome, which is the eventual result of this, that's learned, uh, and perception is learned, and your model of the world is learned. But let me take take an example of you know why the critic. Uh, I mean, example of how the critic may be learned. Right? If I uh, if I come to you. Um, you know, I reach across the table and I, I pinch your arm, right? Complete surprise for you. You would not have expected this from me. I was me. expecting that the whole time, but yes, right. <laughs> Let's say for the, the sake of the story, yes. Um, okay, your basal ganglia is going to light up because it's going to hurt, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and now your model of the world includes the fact that I may pinch you if I approach my... <laughs> uh, my uh, Don't trust humans. <laughs> right, my hand to your arm. So... Yeah. If I try again, you're going to recoil, and that's your critic, uh, your predictive, you know, your predictor of your uh, ultimate pain uh, uh, system mm -hmm. that predicts that something bad is going to happen, and you recoil right. to avoid it. So even that can be learned. That is learned okay. definitely. This is what allows you also to, uh, you know, define sub goals, right? So um, the fact that you know you're a school child, you wake up in the morning and you go to school, and you know. Um, it's not because you necessarily like waking up early and going to school, but you know that there is a long-term objective you're trying to optimize.